Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's exploration of an intriguing and uplifting topic. What people whose brains do not age, even at age 80, do to maintain such remarkable cognitive health. Across the globe, scientists have studied these remarkable individuals to understand the secrets behind their enduring mental acuity. Today, we're diving into the top five habits, backed by scientific evidence, that contribute to this extraordinary phenomenon. Let's embark on this journey of discovery together, from the fifth to the most influential habit, unveiling how we can all aspire to maintain a sharp, vibrant mind throughout our lives. Number 5. Regular Physical Exercise Delving into the significance of regular physical exercise, especially as it pertains to maintaining cognitive vitality into our 80s, reveals a fascinating intersection between bodily health and brain function. The adage a healthy mind in a healthy body finds robust support in contemporary scientific research, underscoring exercise as not merely a pillar for physical wellness but as a critical component for cognitive longevity and resilience. Physical exercise, particularly aerobic activity, has been shown to have profound effects on the brain's structure and function. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from neuroimaging studies, which have demonstrated that regular aerobic exercise can increase the size of the hippocampus, a brain area involved in memory and learning. This growth occurs through a process known as neurogenesis, where new neurons are generated, enhancing cognitive functions and potentially delaying the onset of age-related cognitive decline. Moreover, exercise stimulates the release of a plethora of growth factors, such as brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, which supports the survival and growth of neurons. BDNF acts as a crucial mediator in the neuroplastic processes underlying learning and memory. The elevation of BDNF levels through exercise has been directly linked to improvements in cognitive tasks, including faster processing speeds and better executive function, skills that are often affected by aging. The benefits of physical activity extend beyond neurogenesis and the upregulation of growth factors. Exercise also improves cerebral blood flow, ensuring that the brain receives a steady supply of oxygen and nutrients essential for its optimal function. This increased blood flow can help mitigate the risks of developing conditions like stroke and dementia, which can severely impact cognitive abilities. Furthermore, regular physical activity has been associated with reduced inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which can contribute to neurodegeneration and cognitive decline. In addition to these biological mechanisms, exercise plays a significant role in modulating mood and mitigating stress, factors that can indirectly influence cognitive health. Physical activity has been shown to decrease symptoms of depression and anxiety, through the release of endorphins, sometimes referred to as feel-good hormones. By improving mood and reducing stress, exercise creates a conducive environment for cognitive function, enhancing mental clarity and focus. The practical implications of these findings are profound and accessible. Incorporating moderate-intensity aerobic exercise, such as walking, cycling, or swimming, into one's daily routine can yield significant cognitive benefits. The World Health Organization recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic physical activity throughout the week for adults aged 65 years and above highlighting the universal applicability and importance of exercise for maintaining cognitive health. Importantly, the relationship between physical exercise and cognitive function underscores the concept of plasticity, the brain's remarkable ability to change and adapt. By engaging in regular physical activity, individuals can actively contribute to their brain's health, optimizing its function and potentially delaying the cognitive aging process. This proactive approach to cognitive wellness through exercise empowers individuals, offering a tangible, effective method for preserving mental acuity and enhancing quality of life well into the later years. The role of regular physical exercise in supporting cognitive health and preventing age-related decline is undeniable. Through a combination of neurogenesis, increased growth factor release, improved cerebral blood flow, and mood regulation, Physical activity stands as a cornerstone habit for those seeking to maintain a sharp and vibrant mind into their 80s and beyond.
Embracing a lifestyle that prioritizes regular exercise not only benefits the body but is instrumental in fostering a resilient, capable brain capable of facing the challenges of aging with strength and vitality. Number 4. Lifelong Learning. Diving deeper into the fourth key habit that significantly contributes to maintaining brain health and cognitive function into advanced age, we find the enriching practice of lifelong learning. The notion that engaging the brain in continuous learning and cognitive challenges can fend off cognitive decline is not just anecdotal. It is strongly supported by a wealth of scientific research. Lifelong learning encompasses a broad range of activities, acquiring new skills, studying new subjects, learning new languages, or even engaging in new hobbies that require cognitive effort. These activities stimulate the brain, forcing it to form new neural pathways, adapt, and become more resilient. This process, known as neuroplasticity, is central to the brain's ability to grow and change throughout our lives, even into old age. The evidence for the benefits of lifelong learning on brain health is compelling. Studies have shown that individuals who engage in intellectually stimulating activities throughout their lives have a lower risk of developing cognitive impairments and dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. For instance, research published in the journals of the American Geriatrics Society highlights that cognitive activities, such as reading, playing musical instruments, and engaging in games like chess, are associated with a decreased risk of cognitive decline. Moreover, the act of learning new skills has been specifically linked to improvements in cognitive function. A study in psychological science reported that older adults who took up new hobbies that involved both mental and physical engagement, such as digital photography or quilting, showed improvements in memory that were not seen in those who engaged in social activities or more passive forms of learning. The benefits of lifelong learning extend beyond just enhancing memory and cognitive agility. This continuous engagement also contributes to a greater sense of self-efficacy and accomplishment, boosting mental well-being. It fosters a positive feedback loop where the rewards of learning fuel motivation for further intellectual exploration, creating a cycle of cognitive and emotional enrichment. Furthermore, the social aspect of learning, especially when it involves group classes or activities, can provide additional mental health benefits. Social interactions themselves are known to protect against cognitive decline, meaning that lifelong learning can also serve as a conduit for maintaining and expanding social networks, further enriching the learner's life. It's important to note that the barriers to lifelong learning, such as perceived lack of time, resources, or access, can often be overcome with the multitude of learning platforms available today. Online courses, community education classes, and even edutainment resources make it possible for individuals of any age to explore new subjects and skills from the comfort of their homes, often at little or no cost. The practice of lifelong learning stands as a pillar of cognitive health and resilience against the natural decline associated with aging. By continually challenging our brains with new experiences and knowledge, we not only enrich our lives with new skills and hobbies but also fortify our minds against the ravages of time. Embracing the habit of lifelong learning is not just about staying sharp. It's about living a fuller, more engaged life at any age. Let's commit to being lifelong learners, fostering a curiosity that keeps our brains young, vibrant, and endlessly capable. Number 3. A Brain-Healthy Diet Embarking further into our exploration of practices that significantly contribute to brain health and cognitive vitality, we arrive at the third pivotal habit, adhering to a brain-healthy diet. The connection between nutrition and cognitive function is profound, with a growing body of scientific evidence underscoring the impact of dietary choices on brain health and the aging process. A brain-healthy diet focuses on foods that provide essential nutrients to nourish the brain and protect it from oxidative stress, inflammation, and other factors that contribute to cognitive decline. The Mediterranean diet, for example, has been extensively studied for its positive effects on brain health. Rich in vegetables, fruits, whole grains, olive oil, fish, nuts, and legumes, this diet provides a wealth of nutrients that are beneficial for cognitive function, including omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. Omega-3 fatty acids, 
found in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines, are crucial for maintaining the integrity of brain cell membranes and have been associated with reduced rates of cognitive decline and a lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Antioxidants, abundant in berries and leafy greens, combat oxidative stress, a process that damages brain cells and contributes to aging and neurodegenerative diseases. Vitamins such as B vitamins, vitamin D, and vitamin E play key roles in brain function. For instance, B vitamins are essential for producing neurotransmitters and reducing levels of homocysteine, a compound that can damage brain cells. Another dietary approach receiving attention for its cognitive benefits is the MIND diet, Mediterranean DASH intervention for neurodegenerative delay. This diet combines elements of the Mediterranean diet with the DASH diet, focusing on plant-based foods and limiting intake of animal products and unhealthy fats. Adherence to the MIND diet has been linked to a slower rate of cognitive decline and a reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease. The scientific rationale behind the Brain Healthy Diet's effectiveness lies in its ability to reduce risk factors for cognitive decline. For example, diets rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats can lower blood pressure and improve cholesterol levels, which in turn reduces the risk of stroke and supports overall cardiovascular health, a key component of brain health. Furthermore, these diets help regulate blood sugar levels, which is important since diabetes and insulin resistance have been identified as risk factors for Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia. Incorporating a brain-healthy diet into daily life involves making mindful food choices, such as opting for whole foods over processed foods, choosing healthy fats, and increasing the intake of fruits and vegetables. It also means considering how foods are prepared. For instance, Cooking methods that preserve nutrients, such as steaming or baking, are preferable to those that can increase the formation of harmful compounds. Adopting a brain-healthy diet is a powerful strategy for maintaining cognitive health and preventing age-related cognitive decline. By nourishing our brains with the right nutrients, we can support brain function, reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases, and enhance our overall well-being. As we continue to unravel the complexities of the brain and its connection to diet, it becomes clear that what we eat not only fuels our bodies but also shapes the health and vitality of our minds. Let's embrace the principles of brain-healthy eating, making choices that support a vibrant, cognitively rich life. Number 2. Social Engagement Progressing to the second most crucial habit for sustaining brain health and cognitive agility, we spotlight the indispensable role of social engagement. As we navigate through our 40s, 50s, and beyond, maintaining robust social connections emerges not just as a contributor to emotional well-being but as a fundamental pillar for cognitive preservation and enhancement. The interconnection between social engagement and brain health is substantiated by a plethora of scientific investigations, revealing that individuals who consistently engage in meaningful social interactions exhibit a significantly lower risk of cognitive decline and dementia. Social engagement encompasses a wide array of interactions, from deep, meaningful conversations with friends and family to active participation in community groups or social activities. These interactions stimulate our brains in multifaceted ways, challenging us to comprehend, respond, and engage in complex communicative dynamics. This constant cerebral exercise promotes neuroplasticity, which is the brain's ability to form new neural connections, thereby maintaining and even enhancing cognitive functions. The protective effects of social engagement against cognitive decline can be attributed to several mechanisms. Firstly, social interactions can help mitigate stress and its deleterious effects on the brain. Chronic stress is known to impair cognitive functions and contribute to the atrophy of brain areas involved in memory and executive function. Engaging in social activities fosters a sense of belonging and support, which can buffer against stress and its negative implications for brain health. Moreover, social engagement often goes hand-in-hand -hand with emotional well-being. Feelings of loneliness and isolation have been linked to increased risks of depression and anxiety, which in turn can exacerbate cognitive decline. In contrast, individuals with active social lives tend to have lower rates of these mental health issues, underscoring the intertwined nature of emotional and cognitive health. 
The cognitive benefits of social engagement are also reflected in the concept of cognitive reserve. This theory suggests that engaging in intellectually and socially stimulating activities builds a reserve of cognitive abilities that can help the brain compensate for age-related changes and neuropathology. Essentially, a rich social life contributes to a buffer that allows individuals to maintain cognitive function in the face of brain aging or illness. Implementing this habit into daily life can take various forms, tailored to individual preferences and lifestyles. Joining clubs, volunteering, participating in group hobbies or sports, and simply making time for friends and family are all effective ways to enhance social engagement. The key is consistency and finding joy in these interactions, as the positive effects on brain health are most pronounced when social engagement is a regular and enjoyable part of life. The role of social engagement in sustaining cognitive health and preventing age-related decline cannot be overstated. It stands as a testament to the human need for connection and the profound impact that our social lives have on our brain health. As we continue to understand the complexities of the brain and its interaction with our social environment, it becomes clear that nurturing our relationships and actively seeking out social interactions are among the most effective strategies for maintaining a sharp, agile mind throughout our lives. Let's prioritize our social lives not just for the sake of companionship but as a vital component of our cognitive health and longevity. Number 1. Stress Management and Mindfulness At the very heart of maintaining brain health and cognitive vitality, especially as we journey through our later years, is the paramount practice of stress management and mindfulness. Emerging as the number one habit for those whose brains remain sharp and agile well into their 80s and beyond, this practice encompasses a range of strategies aimed at reducing stress and enhancing mental clarity through mindfulness. The significance of this approach is deeply rooted in scientific evidence, demonstrating its profound impact on preserving cognitive functions and overall brain health. Stress management is crucial because chronic stress can have detrimental effects on the brain, including the impairment of memory and executive function, and even contributing to the reduction in volume of the hippocampus, an area of the brain essential for memory formation. Chronic stress triggers the release of cortisol, a hormone that, in prolonged high concentrations, can be toxic to brain cells and hinder the growth of new neurons. Therefore, effective stress management is not merely about feeling relaxed in the moment, it's about protecting the brain from the long-term adverse effects of stress. Mindfulness, a key component of stress management, involves maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment. This practice, often developed through meditation, encourages individuals to observe their experiences without judgment. Mindfulness meditation has been shown to reduce symptoms of stress, anxiety, and depression, all of which can negatively impact cognitive health. Furthermore, mindfulness practices have been linked to changes in brain regions associated with attention, emotional regulation, and self-awareness. Notably, studies using MRI scans have found that regular mindfulness meditation can increase the density of gray matter in the prefrontal cortex, a region implicated in decision-making and working memory. The integration of mindfulness and stress management into daily life can significantly contribute to cognitive resilience. Techniques such as deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation, and yoga not only provide immediate relief from the physical and emotional symptoms of stress but also enhance the brain's ability to adapt to stress over time. These practices cultivate a state of mental calmness and clarity, which supports cognitive functions and helps in maintaining a focused and agile mind. Adopting these practices requires consistency and a willingness to dedicate time to personal well-being. Whether it's setting aside a few minutes each day for meditation, engaging in regular physical activity known to reduce stress, or simply practicing mindful awareness throughout the day, the key is to find approaches that are enjoyable and sustainable in the long term. The profound impact of stress management and mindfulness on maintaining cognitive vitality and brain health cannot be overstated. As the leading habit among individuals who enjoy remarkable mental acuity in their later years, it underscores the power of our minds to influence our biological well-being. By embracing practices that reduce stress and promote mindfulness, 
we not only enhance our ability to enjoy a mentally rich and fulfilling life but also protect our brains against the ravages of time. Let us prioritize these practices, recognizing them as essential components of a lifestyle that fosters cognitive health, resilience, and overall well-being. Conclusion In conclusion, the journey to maintaining a sharp and agile brain, even into our 80s, is multifaceted, encompassing physical, intellectual, nutritional, social, and emotional dimensions. By incorporating regular exercise, lifelong learning, a brain-healthy diet, social engagement, and effective stress management into our lives, we can all strive towards achieving optimal cognitive health as we age. It's about creating a lifestyle that not only nourishes the body but also enriches the mind. Thank you for joining me today and exploring these transformative habits. Here's to a future where we all enjoy vibrant cognitive health, at every stage of life.